สวัสดีค่ะในบทที่91นี้เราจะมาเรียนเรื่องคำที่ใช้ประกอบหรือขยายคำนามกันอีกครั้งหนึ่งนะคะเราเคยพบคำ every all little few several เราพบกันมาแล้วนะคะมาดูตัวอย่างอีกครั้งหนึ่งค่ะเช่นในประโยคที่ว่า every picture tells a story ภาพทุกภาพล้วนบอกเรื่องราวนะคะ every picture tells a story All roads lead to Bangkok. ถนนทุกสายมุ่งสู่กรุงเทพ All roads lead to Bangkok. A little learning is a dangerous thing. การเรียนรู้เพียงเล็กน้อยเป็นอันตราย A little learning is a dangerous thing. คำขยายที่บอกจำนวนหรือปริมาณปกติจะใช้ควบคู่กับคำนามแต่บ่อยครั้งเราจะเห็นคำเหล่านี้ใช้แทนคำนามนะคะแล้วก็มีฐานะเป็นคำสรรพนามไปเลยเช่น All is not lost. ทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างยังไม่เสียหายหรือหมดหวังเสียทีเดียว All is not lost. อีกตัวอย่างหนึ่งนะคะ Several have been bought. หลายชิ้นได้ถูกซื้อไปนะคะ Several have been bought. จะเป็น several อะไรก็ตามใช้คำ several คำเดียวนะคะอีกประโยคหนึ่งนะคะ Many are called, but few are chosen. หลายคนถูกเรียกตัวไปแต่มีไม่กี่คนเท่านั้นมีบางคนเท่านั้นที่ได้รับเลือกนะคะ Many are called but few are chosen ใช้คำ many กับคำ few เฉยๆนะคะโดยไม่ต้องมีคำนามตามมานะคะแล้วเราจะทบทวนวิธีใช้ a few และ few ใช้กับคำนามที่นับจำนวนได้และ a little little ใช้กับคำนามที่นับเป็นปริมาณนะคะเช่นในประโยค I have a few friends so I don't feel lonely ฉันมีเพื่อนบ้าง a few ฉันเลยไม่รู้สึกเหงานะคะ I have a few friends so I don't feel lonely กับ few เฉยๆนะคะ I have few friends so I often feel lonely ฉันมีเพื่อนน้อยหรือว่าไม่ค่อยจะมีเพื่อนฉันก็เลยรู้สึกเหงานะคะ I have few friends so I often feel lonely ส่วน a little little ใช้กับปริมาณเช่น luckily we have a little water left โชคดีที่เรามีน้ำเหลืออยู่เล็กน้อย a little water luckily we have a little water left กับ little เฉยๆนะคะ we must be careful we have little water left เราต้องระวังแล้วเพราะว่าเรามีน้ำเหลืออยู่น้อย we must be careful we have little water left ติดตามเนื้อหาในบทนะคะยูนิต91 Articles and Quantifiers Various Points Speaking and Listening A little learning is a dangerous thing. Listen to these proverbs and repeat them. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Half a loaf is better than no bread. All roads lead to Rome. Listen to these quotations. They are taken from a poem by Shelley, Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe, Graham Greene's The Human Factor, and George Orwell's Animal Farm. Can you identify them? Number one. June the twentieth. No rest all night. Violent pains in my head, and feverish. June the twenty-first. Very ill. Prayed to God for the first time since the storm. June the twenty-second. A little better. Number two. There was no leaf upon the forest bare. No flower upon the ground, and little motion in the air, except the mill wheel sound. Number three, with some difficulty, for it is not easy for a pig to balance himself on a ladder, Snowball climbed up and set to work, with Squealer a few rungs below him, holding the paint pot. Number four. Once I saw smoke coming out of a trench, and I thought it was a dragon. Were you afraid? No, 
I was afraid of quite different things in those days. I hated my school and I had few friends. Listen. Hmm. Well, well, well. This is a fascinating book. What is it? A dictionary of quotations. It's really fascinating. For example, you know the proverb, a little learning is a dangerous thing? Yes. Well, it was originally written by uh, uh, the English poet Alexander Pope in an essay on criticism, 1711. Did you know that? Yes, I did, actually. Oh. You know the origins of a lot of quotations, too? Mm, quite a lot, yes. Most of the really famous ones come from Shakespeare or the Bible. Read some quotations aloud, and I'll tell you where they come from. OK. Uh, all the world's a stage. Shakespeare. Right. Um, many are called, but few are chosen. The Bible. Right. <laughs> See what I mean? Mm. All is for the best in the best of all possible worlds. Uh, Shakespeare? No. The Bible? No. The French writer Voltaire in Candide, 1759. Oh, well, never mind. You can't win them all. That's right. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> The more, the merrier. Listen to these proverbs and repeat them. The more, the merrier. The more you get, the more you want. The more one knows, the less one believes. Listen. Uh, why were you reading that dictionary of quotations? I was looking for something funny to put on the invitation cards. Oh. Are we having a party? <laughs> you know we are. Everything's organised except we haven't decided on the date. Well, we haven't decided who to invite and we haven't sent any invitation cards. Oh, right. So, when shall we have it? Oh, the sooner the better. I love parties. Um, the 21st? Fine. How many people shall we invite? Oh. Fifty, sixty, seventy, a hundred. <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> Donald, this is a flat, not Wembley Stadium. Yes, I know. Um, let's each make a list and then compare them and decide. Oh, all right. I really like organising parties. The older I get, the more I enjoy it. OK, then. Here's a job for you. Find a funny quotation for the invitation cards. Actions speak louder than words. Listen. Any luck with a quotation? No. I looked up party in the index and all I found was this. The sooner every party breaks up, the better. Oh. <laughs> Jane Austen, Emma, Chapter 25. Hmm. hmm. Um, we've got a dictionary of proverbs somewhere, haven't we? Ah, great minds think alike. I was just going to suggest that. Yes, here it is. Now, close your eyes, mm. open the book anywhere, and see what you find. OK. Um, yes. Rats desert a sinking ship. No. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Walls have ears? No. Um, big fish eat little fish. Oh, no. <sighs> uh, you try. Hmm. Uh, actions speak louder than words. Hmm. Actions speak louder than words, so don't just say you'll come to our party, be there. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Listen and repeat the proverbs from the dialogue. Actions speak louder than words. Rats desert a sinking ship. Walls have ears. Big fish eat little fish. Great minds think alike.
Silence is golden. Listen. Coffee. Thanks. Have you finished your list of people for the party? No, sorry. I'm still looking at this dictionary of proverbs. Some proverbs really make you think, don't they? Hmm. There's a section here called War and Peace. It's got things like attack is the best form of defence, if you want peace you must prepare for war and so on. But there are some I've never heard before that are really striking. And listen to this one. Uh, yeah. In war, all suffer defeat, even the victors. Mm. And this one. The secret wall of a town is peace. Oh, just a minute. I don't understand that. The secret war of a town is peace? No, not the secret war. The secret wall. Oh, I see. The secret wall of a town is peace. Oh, I haven't heard that one before either. Hmm. What's your favourite proverb? Silence is golden. Ah. Do you mean I talk too much? <laughs> no, not at all. It really is my favourite proverb. Oh. Song. Before the war. Listen carefully and notice when the word endings are pronounced before vowels and when they are not pronounced before consonants. Last Easter, last Christmas, next April, next May. You must eat something. You must drink something. He's just arrived. He's just gone home. I phoned Angela yesterday. I phoned George yesterday. Everybody listened in silence. Everybody listened carefully. It must have rained all night. It must have rained during the night. Your brother seemed angry. Your brother seemed depressed. I worked in the garden yesterday. I worked till midnight yesterday. Mr. Jones was asked a question. Mr. Jones was asked to make a speech. Listen and repeat. First come, first served. The best things in life are free. Cold hands, warm heart. Great minds think alike. All good things must come to an end. Synopsis Dialogue 
Any news about your novel, Max? From the publisher, you mean? Yes. No, nothing definite. But you know what they say, patience is a virtue. <laughs> and no news is good news. <laughs> yes. Publishers are strange. First, he wanted to change everything. Mm -hmm. I said I didn't want to change anything. Then he said I might be right after all. So he's still thinking about it. Oh, I see. Actually, there is one thing I might change. What's that? The title. Don't you like a dangerous game anymore? Mm, it's okay, but I might call it the dangerous game instead of a dangerous game. Or possibly just the game. Or maybe dangerous games. Or just games. I'm not sure. Well, you've got a lot of possibilities there. <laughs> yeah. Titles are very important. In fact, the publisher thinks that the title is the most important thing about a book. Really? Yes. He said, remember, Max, a book must have a good title. You can write a brilliant novel, but if you don't give it the right title, it won't be successful. Mm. When do you have to decide? The sooner the better. Actually, I've more or less decided to call it the dangerous game. I want to keep the word dangerous because I found a great quotation to put at the beginning, you know, before the first chapter. What is it? Security is the mother of danger and the grandmother of destruction. Thomas Fuller. Thomas Fuller? Yeah. He was a 17th century writer. Security is the mother of danger and the grandmother of destruction? Yeah. What does it mean exactly? Well, I'm not really sure, but it's a great quotation, isn't it? และในบทที่91นี้เราได้ฝึกใช้สำนวนที่ตรงกับภาษาไทยว่ายิ่งอะไรบางอย่างก็ยิ่งอะไรบางอย่างนะคะโดยใช้ article the ตามด้วยคำคุณศัพท์ในขั้นกว่าเช่น the sooner the better ยิ่งเร็วยิ่งดี the sooner the better หรือ the harder you work the more you learn ยิ่งทำงานหนักก็ยิ่งเรียนรู้มาก the harder you work the more you learn นอกจากนั้นเราก็ได้มีโอกาสฝึกออกเสียงคำบางคำนะคะที่มีการละเสียงบางเสียงเวลาพูดติดต่อกันซึ่งเราในฐานะที่เป็นคนไทยอาจไม่ได้สังเกตมาก่อนนะคะเช่นคำว่า post p o s t post ซึ่งแปลว่าไปรษณีย์นะคะต่อด้วยคำว่า man ซึ่งหมายถึงบุรุษไปรษณีย์แทนที่จะอ่านออกเสียงเต็มที่ว่า post man นะคะก็อ่านว่า postman บุรุษไปรษณีย์หรือคำว่า last นะคะที่แปลว่าล่าสุดหรือสุดท้ายสมมติต่อด้วยคำว่า christmas เมื่อ christmas ปีที่แล้วแทนที่เราจะอ่านออกเสียงเต็มที่ว่า last christmas นะคะก็จะอ่านตามกันไปว่า last Christmas เหมือนกับว่าไม่มีเสียงตัวทีอีกตัวอย่างค่ะ I worked till midnight คำว่า worked ปกตินะคะคำว่า work ที่แปลว่าทำงานต่อด้วย ed เป็น past tense จะอ่านออกเสียงเป็น worked นะคะเราจะไม่อ่านว่า I worked till midnight ฉันทำงานจนกระทั่งถึงเที่ยงคืนแต่จะอ่านออกเสียงว่า I worked till midnight ค่ะลองฝึกฟังแล้วก็ฝึกออกเสียงดูนะคะพบกันใหม่ในบทหน้าสวัสดีค่ะ